What's going on guys? My name is Alex or Alipus. Today I have my drag scoping video. I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I prefer drag scoping instead of quick scoping. And there's a couple of reasons for that, but mostly it's because that game is so fucking bullshit. And you're gonna see the second one in a couple of seconds. Headshot, hit marker. Come on. Like, let's say I'm quick scoping and my first shot is a hit marker. But probably the second shot I'll be pissed that I got a hit marker. So it might not be as much accurate than the first one. And, and I'm gonna miss. So from now on it's gonna be a three shot kill with a sniper. Come on. An ACR with silencer is a four shot kill. Why would I need a gun without a silencer that get a three shot kill? Ah, fuck that. Because <laughs> if he doesn't have time to kill me, somebody else will. So, drag scope, I know it's accurate, I know I won't miss. Okay, now I want to point out your attention on the screen, the actual screen, not the video, the actual screen. This is my TV we're looking at right now. There's a dot right in the center of the screen, like that, you can see it better. Like maybe if I put the menu on. Okay, see? Like that can see and it's right in the middle so that way I can know where is the dead center it's so important when you're trying to snipe and you can see that I don't really need um, a red dot because it's always on so I can never use a red dot if I want the way I did it it's I took a in French we call it a Zotang maybe in a, a folder file well, you put paper on it you, when you go to the, the school. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I cut it and I put it as put some um, scotch tape on it and I put it right in the middle of the screen. So let, let's try to get a headshot from that far with steady aim without aiming, just so you can see. Uh, hit markers. There you go, headshot. So it's right in the middle all the time. Uh, and now I want to show you the what is the aim assist. You'll notice I'm moving my, my stick all the time at the same speed. But if you notice, it's getting slower in the middle. That's the aim assist, that's the aim box of the player. And it's an important thing to understand when you're trying to drag scope because even how accurate you can be, it's mostly the aim assist that do all the work. So yeah, you don't need to be accurate to, to drag scoping. Maybe for quick scoping it's another thing. But like, if I can say maybe drag scoping is for noob and a real good quick scoper is for... Well, still, I don't know how kids can aim, <laughs> can drag quick scope because every time I'm looking at the kill cam, their gun is everywhere except on the target with an assault rifle and they still can quick scope me after that. What the fuck, come on. There's no way, I don't, I don't get it. So yeah, let's start the real tutorial. By the way guys, I recommend you to use focus instead of a stamina because when the other guy with an assault rifle was tried to kill you, you still have time to get an accurate shot with uh, focus. So I wanna show you that the aim assist also work with the sniper. See it getting slowlier when I'm getting on him. So now, what I want to do, if I'm dragging, scoping, I don't have to aim on him. All I have to know is I'm aiming on which side, if it's on the left or on the right. That's it, that's it, that's it. And after that, when you know you're scoping on the left or the right, all you have to do is move your aim. Okay, with that gun, I just wanted to point you a little thing, something really fast, is when you're reloading, you're gonna hide a big part of the screen with the sniper. Let's see, I'm, I'm sniping. Look at the right, all the side that I'm hit, that is hidden by the gun. So just try to keep that in mind when you're using that gun. And the other point I want to bring, it's very important. When you're sniping, you cannot move while you are sniping. You have to be completely still and then take the shot because otherwise it won't be accurate. So like that, I cannot do this. I have to stop, aim and shot. But you can jump, I'm gonna show you later that you can. So you have to move, stop, aim, take the shot. That's important, maybe that's a reason why we sometimes miss our shot and we think we are accurate. 
can speak with you. Even though you are on target. So yeah, okay. Let's see, I'll just find the, uh, the target in a real life scenario. What I'm gonna say here might look stupid, but that's the pro tip for drag scoping. Do not aim at the body. Look here, I'm aiming purposely on bottom left, and I know I'm doing it. But the thing is, I'm aiming at the body. I might be on the left, might be on the right. I don't know, I'm not a good quick scoper. But then I will have to react to this, and for that, I do not have the reflexes. But I know that if I'm doing something on purpose, like aiming on the left, like right here, I know all I have to do is dragging to the to the to the right and let the aim assist do the work. By the way, that shot took a quarter of a second. Is it really faster a quick scope than a hard scope? And from that distance, I probably think I would have missed. But I know with drag scoping, I won't. So, so just aim on the side you're comfortable at, or that makes sense, and just drag on the other side. That's it. By the way, guys, if you're playing with kids and they're telling you that, uh, like. Because the, 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 the quick scope I've changed from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3. Now you have to see something in your screen. Before in Modern Warfare 2, a quick scope was just the. You still had the, the black screen. But now it changed. Because if you only see the black screen, it won't be accurate. It's going to be as much accurate as a, a no scope or. See, all the bullets, now they are accurate. Let's try to to quick scope him. You see, I'm not. I'm I'm very not good. I'm trying in a real situation game, and it doesn't work. I'm not on him. If I'm trying to drag scope, boom, boom, that is it. <laughs> it's not that I have amazing reflexes. It just it, it, that's how it works. It's easy. Try to quick scope, Conan. Let's do a drag scope. Ooga. See? Like, it's so fucking fast. Like, it takes what? Like, half a second half more than a quick scoping? Uh, now, let's see some real game footage. This is uh, its squad. I think most of the time he was not yeah, trying to kill me, he was just giving me a kill yeah. feed so I can show, show you guys. And in, in that video, we're gonna see stuff that oh, there you maybe go. You, you shouldn't do, but it's mostly to make you understand that you, do you that have to spend time in here? private lobby, you have to spend the time practicing it. And like, maybe it can be stupid, but everything is useful. Everything is useful. Like, I used to be a real basketball player, and remember that, that, that thing that was called N1 mixtape? Well, basically what it was, they were doing like in the streets stuff Ooh, that was very amazing. Uh, like, I remember that guy, Hot Sauce, like dribbling like so fucking fast between the legs of the other right, player, right. Being, do. like, doing some crazy crossovers, oh, stuff it. like that. And coaches were always telling us that it was not useful, that was stupid, we we're never gonna, never gonna yeah, do this in a real game. But in fact, these kind of things was simulating our creativity when we were about to oh, face really a special off. situation the la the block. and that was important to create your to stimulate your your and all with the ball something that only and that made yeah. the basketball advance a lot more because just if you think about the crossovers just from there the crossover evaluated so much and maybe without in one mixtape, that would maybe never have happened. I remember the first time I saw Alan Iverson doing his killer crossover on Michael Jordan. I was like, wow, do you realize you have the skills to laugh at the face of the best player ever? So after that, I started thinking and I understood that that's how he can manage score, even though like there are five on him in the paint. That's because he was able to do the extra stuff that other people at that time couldn't. He had the creativity that other haven't. So, so the same thing with sniping. When you're gonna have to face a, situa a special situation, maybe you're gonna be able to drop the shot that was uh, critical at that moment. Maybe not a 360, but still, it 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 stimulates your reflexes and your 
to know when where you are in the map in the space if you understand what i mean like a good example i could give you is when you're getting a, a turn on on somebody you're doing a 180 and this is the kind of skills that are developed in the same time of doing 360s of course the the aim assist comes into play but still you, you learn your brain learned the mechanic of the of the movement how much you have to turn around to do a 180 the same thing happened with uh, art scope you may think practicing art scope is stupid but let's say you're on lockdown you're in second half the ties the game is tied and the guy run flag to the hall <laughs> And your bottom trying to snipe him from the two window on, in the hall, and you're trying so you have to art scope because you never know when he's gonna pop up. But if the guy you're playing loses uh, breath, so his stamina went off, his aim's gonna be off. And so if you don't know how long you can hold his breath, you're gonna miss the shot. So you have to practice. You have to practice everything. If you wanna get good at something, it's with practice. In those private lobby, like me, it's what I'm doing. I'm not even trying to shoot you, I was just trying to get a cool kill for you. Oh, okay, well, just ask and I'll do it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, okay, I just want to do a quick uh, recap of what I've said. Um, focus instead of uh, stamina because when you're going to get shot at, uh, your, your gun is not going to flinch, so you're going to be able to get a good shot on the opposing player even though he's shooting at you. Uh, you don't really need to hold your breath when you're sniping because when you're moving the crosshair, this is going to be precise. The moment you're moving is going to be precise. The only time is like you feel like he, the stamina is not there is because he's breathing. It's because you're stay, staying still. So as long as you're moving, like if, when you're drag scoping, you don't need it. But I do it all the time just to make sure if I miss or... But I've learned that you don't have to. Uh, what else? So yeah, you have to not be moving while you're sniping, otherwise the shot's gonna be off. Uh, to get a good quick scope, you have to see uh, maybe one sec or second or less the screen after uh, you're aiming. Uh, but, but, but make sure you know which side you're aiming at and. That's basically the, the of drag scoping. That was a good one because I got stuck on the door. So. Uh, did that me? I'm playing on five or six. I'm not sure. So, but there's one thing: the sensitivity is not that much important. What is important is to stick with it and practice, 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 practice. Because as I said earlier, if you're changing your sensibility all the time, your brain doesn't have to adjust <laughs> to the five sensitivity or six. So at that point, it's luck. It's pure luck because your brain memorizes stuff. So yeah, uh, and just quickly, um, a couple of channels maybe you could look. Um, of course, Zergriz is the first one. He's the most popular, probably. Uh, I read the the she's the best drag scoper on, on her. She's ridiculous how skilled she she is. Uh, I discovered lately uh, legit meow. His name is Dart Nine, and uh, maybe a sick TV. Sick TV does. Um, a tutorial video with a, a camera on his controller, so it's very good. Oh, and by the way, guys, just before I leave, I want to thank It Squad for uh, helping me doing this uh, tutorial video. So, uh, see you guys. Ciao. We could try it. I've never done that before.